Are cold sores contagious? Symptoms of herpes. If your question is, are cold sores contagious? The answer is, all the time. Open cold sores are highly contagious, but even if you are not experiencing an outbreak, it's still possible to transmit herpes. Our guide to kissing and cold sores goes into more detail about how you can reduce your HSV-1 transmission risk during an outbreak. By acting quickly and treating a cold sore in the early stage, you may be able to limit its development and speed up the healing process. When are cold sores contagious? It is contagious when viruses are excreted and fresh blisters are visible. The greatest risk of cold sores infection is posed by the fluid in the blisters, which contains a large number of viruses. As soon as all vesicles are encrusted and no new ones appear, the risk of infection is already much lower. Nevertheless, small amounts of virus can still be excreted sometime after the herpes crust has fallen off. How are cold sores contagious? It is only contagious during primary infection or reactivation. This is when viruses are excreted. However, the classic symptoms of herpes do not always have to be present. In the case of so-called latent infections, those affected excrete viruses but do not show any symptoms. Failure to take appropriate precautions will increase the risk of herpes transmission. While the virus is in dormant state, herpes infection is not possible. People with symptomatic HSV-1 can have anywhere from several outbreaks per year to one every couple years or so, depending on the individual. Outbreaks tend to be worse during the initial herpes outbreak, as the body hasn't had time to produce its own immune response to herpes. Oral HSV-1 outbreaks usually involve the development of cold sores around the lips and mouth. The sores usually begin as an itching, burning sensation before forming into small blisters over several days. When are cold sores contagious? When HSV-1 are open, they can weep out infectious fluid, leading to a high risk of transmission. It's best to abstain from kissing or sexual activity if you have an open cold sore, as there's a risk of infecting your partner with HSV-1 through direct oral contact. Symptoms of herpes Symptoms of herpes, oral herpes, HSV-1, cold sores and fever blisters. Fever, itching, discomfort or pain may appear days before the arrival of blisters and sores, small blisters filled with clear yellowish fluid, often on top of raised, red, painful skin areas. They may break and ooze after forming, merging into a larger blister. Eventually yellow crusts form that fall away to reveal pink, healing skin. Sore throat, swollen neck lymph nodes, after a period of time, blisters, sores, or lesions can reappear due to reactivation of the herpes simplex virus from illness or stress. Symptoms of herpes, genital herpes HSV2. Early symptoms of genital herpes occur two to six days after exposure and can include Decreased appetite, fever, general feeling of malaise or not feeling well, headache, muscle aches, pain, sensitivity or itching near or on the penis, vulva, or rectum. Later symptoms of herpes genitalia occur two to three weeks after exposure and can include Appearance of groups of blisters on areas that were exposed to the herpes simplex virus such as the genitals, vagina, cervix, thighs, buttocks, or anus, blisters that break open and develop into painful lesions or sores that last about two weeks. Chills, fatigue, fever, swollen lymph glands, unusual vaginal discharge. The ultimate cure for the herpes virus. We have been deceived and had been told lies that herpes is not curable. Click the link in the description below and be the one to experience it firsthand. Don't take herpes for granted. Herpes has many complications if left untouched. You can thank me later by subscribing to my channel. Let's put an end to the herpes virus.